In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. The liturgy is the most important prayer in the Orthodox Church. You know, the liturgy, we celebrate the presence of God on the altar, and we partake of the communion, and we abide in him, and he in us. And this is the mystery of Christianity. So when we pray the liturgy, the church teaches us to prepare ourselves. So we prepare ourselves for the liturgy with what we call the raising of incense in Vespers and Matins, in the evening of the liturgy and in the morning before the liturgy. You know, in the uh, Old Testament, the altar had like burnt offering every morning and every evening. So the fire on the altar is continuously like burning from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. This is the, the, the morning one and then from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. the evening burnt offering. So and and the church took this pattern and uh, the church put the, the raising of incense uh, every uh, liturgy before the liturgy in the evening and in the morning. And also we remember in the Old Testament there was like an altar for the incense, like a special altar for the incense other than the other one. So we consider raising of incense as a sacrifice, as a sacrifice. So we have like prayers for this, for this raising of incense. We offer our prayers with the incense to God with the, with the help of angels, as well as St. John said, uh, and he saw in the book of Revelation in chapter five and chapter eight, the raising of incense is the, um, the prayers of the saints carried by the angels to God. Uh, so we have to prepare ourselves to benefit from the liturgy and we prepare ourselves with this raising of incense. Uh, the component of the prayers, it is very small prayer, but we have like few components. We have the Thanksgiving prayer as an introduction and we have like one litany or two. We ask for something we need and also we have the gospel. And all the time when we read the gospel, we have like a small prayer before the gospel. We call it the litany of the gospel. And then we have like concluding litanies or prayers and then the absolution. So we have like three main components, the thanksgiving prayer and the litany and then the gospel. We inserted some prayers and doxologies for the Lord Jesus and St. Mary and also some saints, we inserted them in the middle of these uh, components. And then we conclude by the absolution and the uh, glorification of the Holy Trinity. So this is the like the, the small uh, uh, prayer of Matins and, uh, and Vespers. Uh, I want to focus on the repeated parts. We have like repeated parts in every prayer and they are also inside the Matins and the Vespers uh, every day. So we have the Lord's Prayer, our Father who art in heaven. We start with it and we conclude with it. So this is one of the main components of our prayers. Number two, the Thanksgiving prayer. And this is a unique prayer. There is, it is not in the other churches, even the traditional churches of, of the whole world. This is a Coptic, uh, unique prayer, the Thanksgiving prayer. And it is in the liturgy of St. Cyril, which is originally the liturgy of St. Mark. So most probably it is delivered to the Coptic church by St. Mark himself. So this is the Thanksgiving prayer. And we start with this prayer every in every liturgical prayer in the church. 
the the mass the matins the baptism the every even the funeral service we start with the thanksgiving prayer and we took it in our uh, daily seven prayers in Agbeya. so we we use it every in every prayer so this is one of the this this is the second component which is repeated components in all our prayers so first the lord's prayer and then the thanksgiving prayer and then we have also the creed this is a repeated prayer we say the creed we believe in one god god the father the pantocrator etc so the creed is included in every prayer and in the matins and the and the uh, vespers we add like a liturgical small prayer like a glorification for saint mary starts with we exalt you the mother of the true light we exalt you this is a liturgical prayer prayer we we pray it before the creed in matins just in the matins and the vespers also one of the main components and repeated components in every liturgical play, prayer the reading of the gospel we read part of the gospel of the word of god from the four passage from the four gospels in every liturgical prayer and we start we proceed this with the litany of the gospel we ask god to help us to be doers not just hearers so make us worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospels so the the reading of the gospel this is a main component as well with its litany before it also we pray some repeated prayers for the peace of the church our patriarch his holiness the pope and also our assemblies these are repeated litanies because this these are extremely important the the peace of the church and the world and the the the, the life of our patriarch and uh, also the the bishops and the clergy and also our assemblies that may god bless them and then this is number five uh, the sixth component is the absolution we always conclu conclude our prayers with the absolution to forgive our asking god to forgive our sins because this is very important to remove the barrier between the people and god remove the sins so each prayer is concluded by the absolution prayed by the priest and we accept it and we benefit and uh, and get the forgiveness of our sins and then number seven what we call the concluding the conclusion of the prayers which is glorification for the father and the son the holy spirit the one holy trinity so we we conclude by glorifying god so these are the seven main components and we found we find them in the uh, the matins and the vespers prayers the lord prayers the th thanksgiving prayer the creed the gospel reading with its litany the prayer for the peace of the church the pope and the assemblies and the absolution and then the prayer of conclusion so the matins and the vespers are small prayers but they are full of like love to god preparing ourselves for the 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 gift of god the the greatest gift which is the holy communion just the difference the only difference between the vespers and the matins we pray in the vespers the litany of the departed we pray in the matins usually in the regular days we pray the, the for the sick the litany of the sick people and the litany of the travelers because in the vespers we we remember the end of life because it is the end of the day so we remember the end of life so we pray for the departed and in the in the morning we pray for the sick and the travelers because that the church is like a hospital 
opening his ga it, its gates to the sick every day to come and be healed. So we pray for the sick and also for the travelers because this is a, like a, a day work, a, a work working day. So we we pray for the people who are traveling here and there. But on Saturdays, because this is the day when the Lord Jesus was in the tomb. So we pray the litany of the departed in the matins. And on Sunday, because this is the, the Lord's day, the day of the Lord, no one should be traveling here or there. So we pray for the sick and for the offerings who uh, uh, introduced or like gift uh, offering offerings to the church so we pray for them that may God bless them and reward them with the heavenly instead of the earthly so we but usually in the other days we pray in the matins the litany of the sick and the litany of the traveler so these are this is the the main uh, components of the matins and uh, the vespers and I hope we enjoy always praying these prayers and prepare ourselves with a spirit of prayer. And uh, we prepare ourselves for the great gift of the communion and uh, the holy liturgy, which is like a, a journey to heaven and ends by like uniting with God. And glory be to God forever. Amen.